Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Before you dive into UVR, here are some hard, cold facts you need to know. There's no hype or no sugar coating, just the truth about what it can and cannot do. Fact number one, UVR is not fully native VR. So UVR is not a native VR solution. Flat games were never built for VR. So climbing ladders, grabbing objects, or interacting with the environment realistically usually is not possible. But it can give you room scale VR, six stock movement, and let you handle guns, aiming and shooting like a real VR game. Some profiles even support motion controlled melee weapons. It's very cool, but never perfect VR. Fact number two, you're inside the game. UEVR is not a 3D screen floating in VR. It puts you inside the game's engine. Depth, scale, and lighting behaves as the developers intended. When it works well, it feels like the game was made to be explored in VR, even though it wasn't. Fact number three, profiles are key. Simply injecting UEVR doesn't automatically give you full VR features. Room scale movement, motion controls, and proper interactions require game specific profiles from the community. Profiles fix cameras, add motion controls, and make weapons usable. They can also change over time, so always check the pin messages in the UVR Discord for the latest versions. And if you still need some help on how to add profiles for your games, I do have a guide on how to import profiles, and I'll leave a link to that guide below this video. Fact number four, you need a strong PC. UEVR is very demanding. Each game is effectively rendered twice, once per eye. If a game is struggling on your flat monitor, it will likely struggle in VR. Older Unreal games work better. Start with the lowest settings and tweak your experience from there. With older Unreal 4 and 5 games, you really don't need a beefy PC to get smooth gameplay. Fact number five, results vary by setup. Your VR headset, PC, runtime, OpenXR versus OpenVR, and game versions all affect results. Some games may not inject correctly depending on your setup. If you're looking for help, the UVR Discord is the best place for compatibility info and help. Fact number six, it's not that hard to use. Despite what you may hear, UVR is pretty simple. Launch the game, import the profile, inject, put on your headset and it's done. Most problems come from missing profiles, incompatible games or wrong runtime selection. Fact number seven, game updates can break it. UEVR can break when games update, suddenly injection fails, controls stop working, or cameras and UI glitch. Fixes depend on the community, so don't expect instant patches. Disable auto updates for your games that work well. Fact number eight, not every Unreal game works. Just because a game runs on Unreal Engine doesn't mean UEVR will work. Custom Unreal game engines, odd cameras, and locked rendering paths can make injection impossible. Always check compatibility before trying a game. Fact number nine, UI and menus are often messy. Menus and HUDs were not designed for VR. Text may be hard to read, menus awkward to navigate, and keyboard and mouse input may still be required. Gameplay can feel amazing, but the UI often reminds you it's still a flat game. Fact number 10, motion sickness risk. Because these games weren't built for VR comfort, some movements or animations can cause motion sickness. Snap turning, FOV adjustments, and comfort profiles help, but native VR games will still be easier on your stomach. Fact number 11, multiplayer online is risky. UEVR is for single player games. Using it online can trigger anti-cheat and can get you banned. If you're unsure about a game, again, go to the UEVR Discord and check the game's profiles and make sure the game's running okay with UVR for multiplayer and online sessions. Fact number 12, community project, not a product. UVR isn't commercial software. No customer support, no guaranteed updates. Development depends on volunteers. So bugs may persist, features may never come and progress can slow or stop. Fact number 13, expect tinkering. Even when the game works, you'll likely tweak graphics, remap controls, and experiment with profiles. UEVR rewards patience. If you enjoy tinkering, you'll love it. If you want plug and play simplicity, it may frustrate you. Fact number 14, audio can break immersion. 
Even if visuals and controls work, audio is often inconsistent. Positional sound may not match head movement, directional cues can be off, and spatial effects might feel flat. Your ears might remind you that the game is still a flat experience. Fact 15, cutscenes and camera angles can be jarring. Many Unreal games have fixed cameras or cinematic cutscenes. In VR these can feel uncomfortable or disorientating. Some profiles fix this, but not all cutscenes will ever feel natural. Fact number 16, compatibility may require trial and error. Don't expect every game to just work out of the box. You may need to try multiple injection methods, adjust settings or switch profiles. A bit of experimentation is part of the UVR experience. So there you have it, 16 hard truths about UVR. It's powerful, impressive and can give you incredible VR experiences. But only if you have a strong PC, your game is compatible, you use community profiles and check Discord for updates, you accept occasional breakage and tinkering. If you approach it with the right expectations, it can be amazing. Otherwise, well, it can be frustrating too. Do not give up hope, try different games, never give in, never give up, because in the long term, you're going to thank me for these guides and you're going to thank the UEVR community for some amazing VR experiences. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you find it quite helpful and useful. I'm going to leave a link to some of my helpful tutorials below this video, a guide on how to get UEVR working, and a guide on how to add profiles to your games. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, be sure to my little bell, and I'll see you in the next one. I had a glimpse of you, and then you was gone. I searched for you everywhere, where'd I go wrong? Chasing shadows in the neon light Flickers of hope in the darkest night Echoes linger in this empty space Where did you disappear in the digital haze? Lost in the rhythm But still feel the voice You were my signal Now I'm just noise Through the pages of memories untold In a world of pixels, your warmth turns cold Chasing up the whispers through the wires and screens Searching for connection in the gaps between Lost in the frequency but searching for the light You were my beacon, now I'm lost in the night